be showing you a little more about our most popular product, which is our 19 inch classic cocktail arcade. So standing in front of me, you're gonna see a cherry colored cabinet. This is a black colored cabinet, and this is a walnut colored cabinet. Cherry, black, walnut. You'll notice that this game has a track wall. That's an option that you can add to this game. The only difference between the standard cocktail and what we call a mini deluxe cocktail or the cocktail with a track wall is that the control panel, this piece, has been elongated on this game in order to accommodate adding a track wall in between the joystick and the buttons. In addition, both games have a volume control and speakers. However, the Mini Deluxe also has a stereo amplifier. On that amplifier, you will find volume, bass, treble, and balance. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when you get the game, uh, first of all, these are our chrome stools, if you wanted to see what they look like. These chrome stools are adjustable. They have a piston. If you press that lever, just like an office chair, they can elevate or lower. Right now, that's 14 inches. That's the lowest they can go. Or if you want, like holding this, you can raise them up to 20 inches, depending on the height of the person playing. So when you get this game, it's going to arrive at your home on a pallet. It's going to be covered in sh shrink wrap, then cardboard. There will be some inserts that protect the corners to make sure nothing happens to it during shipping. Uh, and then it's going to be strapped down to a pallet. So during the delivery process, you're going to unwrap it. I'll discuss that in another video. After unwrapping it, you're gonna notice there's a power cord and two keys that are gonna be zip tied to one of the joysticks. Using a scissor, carefully remove one of the keys. On the front of the cabinet, you're gonna find some speaker holes. You're also gonna find a coin door and a door that opens the coin box. Opening the coin door. Inside, you're gonna see a red button. That red button you would press if you wanted to make changes to the Jamba board. We do not sell JAMA game boards. This machine is JAMA compatible. That'll be addressed more on the website, um, but it will play any JAMA game board. And if you wanted to make changes to that game board that you purchased, you could press that button. On the standard cocktail, right there, there would be a button for a volume control. This cabinet has a stereo amplifier, so you can see the silhouette of it there. I'm gonna open the cabinet in a moment, in a moment uh, and you'll be able to see that better. On the interior of the cabinet here, and here there are cookie jar latches. So if you open the game, reach your hand in, back, and towards yourself, you'll be able to pop those two latches. For the purpose of keeping this video simple, I've already done that. I'm gonna open the top in a second. On the top of the game, there are four clips. One, two, three, four. Each clip has two Phillips screws that hold the clip in place. On the top of the cabinet, there's a piece of clear tempered glass. You wanna make sure that you don't get one that's plexiglass. Those have a tendency to scratch. They're also a little bit hazy and they tend to weather or age. Tempered glass top. Underneath the top, there's a thin veneer that we call an underlay. It's made of plywood. So you can see what it looks like. I've actually got a game over here that I can quickly show you. So this is what the top of the cabinet is gonna look like. You'll see that this is a standard television monitor. It's been installed into the top of the game. Back over here, we're going to open the top of the cabinet. The cabinet has a locking latch, kind of like your car hood. Here you're going to see the computer monitor, some brackets that hold the monitor in place. Power cord goes into the monitor, VGA cable. This is how you would access the joysticks. And so for example, if you ever wanted to make changes to the cabinet, let's say for some unfortunate reason, somebody spilled liquids and you needed to change one of the buttons, there's going to be two screws here. I've already unscrewed one here, but if you were to pull that out, set that aside, control panel drops down, Oops. and inside you could see how you would access the buttons. And so, hypothetically speaking, if you ever needed to swap a button, this little piece just pulls off and this button screws out. So it takes about two seconds to change a button. This is the trackball. You could swap that out with four screws, and this is one of the joysticks similar way to exchange. We close that, put those two screws back in place, and that's how you would access the interior for one of the joysticks. This is the stereo amplifier that I mentioned earlier. Volume, bass, treble balance. Now, this machine is compatible with JAMA game boards. There are two kinds of games that you could play in this world. Games that go up and down, or games that go side to side. This machine is designed to play up and down games. They are called vertical games. So you can see that we took a TV, 
this was turned around, this would be the same way that you'd be sitting, uh, it would be sitting on your desk at work if you were looking at your office computer. And so basically, we take a TV, try to do this with one hand here. <clears throat> we take a computer monitor the same way that it sits on your desk at work, and we turn it 90 degrees to the left so that it's installed long ways. So if you were typing on this in Word, your typing would list like this. So this cabinet is designed to play up and down games. We do have the ability, if you would like, to modify this cabinet. You can remove the monitor, turn it from portrait to landscape. If you wanted to play games that are landscape games, and you can Google what those types of games are. But if you wanted to play those type of games, traditionally you'd have to buy two different machines. If you don't want to have to do that, you can actually physically remove the monitor and turn it. Or we have a game that's called the Ultimate Cocktail. The Ultimate Cocktail has the ability to play both vertical games and horizontal games. So it'll have joysticks on this side. In addition, the Ultimate Cocktail has a panel right here that'll have two joysticks side by side that allows you to play games where two people play simultaneously. Uh, like baseball, where I pitch, you hit, that kind of thing. So back to the inside of the cabinet. Down here is your power supply. And the important part, this is what's called a JAMA harness. On a JAMA harness, you're gonna notice that there's three wires, a space, and some other wires. Over here, this is a JAMA game board. JAMA game board basically looks like a Nintendo game if you were to remove the plastic casing. If you ever remember on Nintendo games, sometimes they wouldn't work. Back in the day, you had to blow on them. So you would open up your cartridge and you would blow. And what you're blowing on is the things that look like this. It wouldn't have the space, but it would look something like that. And so what you wanna do with your harness is you wanna line up these three pins a space and these wires with these three pins, a space, these three pins, the space, and these wires. And so on the inside of this, there's a little mouth. And I'm trying to do this in film at the same time, so it's a little difficult. But fundamentally, you would want to take this and insert these teeth in there. And just make sure that you line up three wires, space, more wires. In addition, on the JAMA board, there's going to be a place to plug in a VGA cable. The VGA cable is the cable that goes directly to the monitor. So it's going to look like this. And on the other end, it's going to look like this. And I think most people have seen something like this. So this, you would just mount onto the board. Now, in addition, this game has been modified with some trackballs. Depending on the game board that you're going to be running, there's two different ways you could plug in the trackballs. You could either use these ones that come with the JAMA harness, or this one has been modified for some more advanced game boards. You would plug these in, but the fundamental concept is the same. There's a little spot on the board that'll say like outputs. It's kind of like a USB port. And so you would plug that in or plug in the other one, depending on whatever game board you buy, we could advise you on what, uh, which one of the track balls, or you could just trial and error. It's gotta be one or the other. You're not gonna hurt anything. So that's basically it. This is our standard cocktail arcade. This is an example of what a JAMA game board looks like. You can find JAMA game boards anywhere if you go on Amazon or eBay. I think you can get, there's a uh, 25th anniversary edition Namco Pac-Man slash Galaga JAMA board, one of those officially licensed boards, and that'll plug right into this cabinet. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call, 888-378-9416. And again, that down. One thing I forgot to mention, this, so underneath the glass, it's plywood, and then this is a thin veneer made of vinyl that's kind of floppy, and it just sits under there, and so that provides the artwork. There's also a bezel that goes around the monitor. If you wanted to adorn this, you could actually put any stickers or decals or anything that you'd like to put on there. Uh, we just don't have the rights for any of the imagery for some of the games. So if you wanted to do that on your own, you're more than welcome to do that. That's not something that we could do. Uh, I do believe we may be able to get different colors of this. If you wanted to get black, which is the most popular, um, or white, maybe blue or yellow. So 